Shalom, Tanakh wisdom. Perfect, perfection. Is it possible? People say, no one is perfect. You cannot be perfect. But yet, growing up, parents, teachers, they tell us, practice makes perfect. The English dictionary says that to be perfect means to be flawless, without defect. Uh, and I like this point. Faithfully reproducing the original. Faithfully reproducing the original. In the Hebrew, the word that they translate as perfect is tamam. Tau, mem, final mem. It's a verb. And the function of that verb is literally to cease requiring nothing more. Stop. It's done. It's full. It's perfect. You see? And also, uh, innocence. It's pure. And having integrity. Integrity. And being whole. Cease. Requiring nothing more. In the scriptures, in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, Abraham is 99 years old after having been walking with Yahweh for since he was 75 and Yahweh commands him to be to walk before him perfect you will walk before me perfect in Matthew during Yeshua's discourse after the Beatitudes he says you will be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect and later on he tells the rich young ruler the rich young ruler says I've kept the commandments since my youth what more do I need to do he said Yeshua said if you want to be perfect go sell all that you have give to the poor and come and follow me then you will be perfect so the point that I like about the English definition was the one that says faithfully reproducing the original because we were made in the image and likeness of the Most High, Yahweh Elohim, the creator of heaven and earth. And the word image is salam. The word likeness is dama. Okay? We lost his likeness after the fall in the garden. But we're still made in his image. The word salam, sare lamed final mem, is the, an outline of an original as a shadow. And I believe you can see my shadow behind me. That's the outline of me. Hmm? So now you can see why the Most High requires us to be perfect because we are should be reflections of him. We are the outline of an original, him being the original. And I believe it's a choice because of knowing your identity, knowing who you are. You were made in his image. We lost his likeness through Yeshua. Now we can grow back into his likeness. But we can because he will enable us to if we're willing. So it's a choice. Be perfect because of who you are. And then he will enable us to, in Yeshua's name, Tanakh with Shalom.